Hello everybody, um, welcome to the SWOT analysis workshop. For this, those of you who don't know me, my name is Nicole Winget. I am one of your International Executive Board members at large. I'm also a Willis chapter, Triangle Area Alumni chapter, and I'll let John introduce himself. Hi, uh, I'm John Karasik. I am also one of your International Executive Board members, also at large. Uh, and I'm a member of the Robert E. Redding National Capital Area Alumni Chapter right here in the greater D.C. area. So who's heard of SWOT analysis before? Somebody want to give me your thumbnail understanding of what SWOT analysis is? That's a mouthful, SWOT analysis <laughs> yes. is. I'm a teacher by profession, guys, and I love the Socratic method, so brace yourselves because I'm going to keep asking questions until somebody answers. <laughs> it is an acronym. Yeah. Go ahead. Perfect. Okay. Winner! That was really nicely done. I'm not afraid. Winner! <laughs> yeah, we have a box we have to stay in. What, what's it for? Why do we care about strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats? Why, why is this applicable to chapter operations? Any guesses? If you were in Sam Ivey's presentation earlier today, you heard her give an, an example of how she actually, she never used the term, but how she actually did SWOT analysis to come up with their strategic plan for, for, uh, uh, for their Minnesota statewide uh, uh, chapter. So the screen should give you kind of a hint of what I'm trying to get you guys to. Um, it's a way to, oh please, go ahead. Uh, Cheyenne University is such a Florida free law chapter. SWOT analysis basically suggests the strengths and weaknesses so that you can apply that to your organization as a whole to know which tasks to delegate to each individual person in order to make sure that it's cohesive. Perfect. Yeah, it's a planning tool. It's a way to assess where you are, where you want to be, and what might keep you from getting there. Um, we use it a lot in the military. It's just a very, and I think the government yep. uses it a lot. It's a very structured way to make sure you're covering all the bases. Um, and it's just a good thought process, you know, thought exercise. Um, did you want to add anything to that? It, it, and it has a couple of different orientations. So, so you're looking at things internally. What are our strengths? What are our weaknesses? Where, where, you know, who's good at what? Who's not so good at other things? Where do we have gaps? Um, but it also looks outside of your organization um, to, to things that are happening in, in your environment. Um, and, and so that's part of uh, the, the analysis as well. That, that, that's, where, that's where you're seeing opportunities and, and threats pop up. Now, how do you execute a SWOT analysis? Has anybody ever done one of these before? What did you do to execute? Executed? Uh huh. Just to, to go through to the SWAT process. You, you get the appropriate people in the room, the leadership and, other, mm -hmm. and others that you may want, and you start saying, okay, what are our strengths? Let's put it on the board. What are our weaknesses? Put it on the board. Opportunities, challenges, and, yep. and then you you have that discussion around that, and then I don't, then you can go through and identify what you all agree about strengths. Wonderful. Um, I've seen it used on whiteboards where people will literally draw a square with four boxes in it yep. and write it on the whiteboard. Um, those huge post-it note pads, you know, that's another good way to do it. I like the post-it note or the, the uh, cardboard layout because then you can keep it and you can look at it later. Or we can just take pictures of the whiteboard. I guess that works as well. <laughs> Um, and as was mentioned, you're looking at internal factors and external factors in order to plan, evaluate, um, and you can also use it for post-event debriefing to see what worked, what didn't work, um, and go from there. Yeah, it's, it's, a great, it's a great hot wash tool because you'll see things after the fact that, that you didn't you know, recognize going in. So, so you know, you'll see, hey, you know, this, this really worked well. But, but we didn't see that, that this was going to be an issue, that this is going to be a problem. So, so you'll identify threats after the fact, or you'll identify new ways of doing it in, as, as opportunities after the fact. So, so it's a great way of, of building your events uh, you know, as, as you iterate them over, over time. So let's say, let's, let's think really broad, um, just so we can walk through what each of these letters stand for. Think of your chapter. What's a strength that your chapter has? Remember, a strength is internal and helpful. So think of a, a strength your chapter has. Your board. 
You're bored? Okay. Now, what about an opportunity, which is an external factor that's good? We have a large amount of students on our campus. Excellent. So not necessarily members, but you have great support. Wonderful. These are great examples. Now let's look at the, the potentially harmful. What's a weakness of your chapter? Remember, this is an internal area to grow. The majority of the members graduating. Okay, so okay. high turnover yeah. rate. Excellent example. Please. Um, many people who signed up to keep going to the engagement. Yep, yeah, that's always. We got you to pay, but how do we get you to participate? <laughs> yes, I would say like a rust, like a keeping, like I said, keep like it's a very similar that keeping people engaged and like trying to like come up with new events for, uh, you know, uh, for alumni members who might have other, you know, organ that might have other organizations where they can fulfill those same needs. Okay. What, you, you kind of opened the door, what's a, a threat to your chapter operation? So this is an external influence that might be harmful to the organization. Time. Time, excellent, yeah. okay. Budget. Budget, is that external or internal? How would you, I can see how it could be both, arguably. Well, <coughs> I think it depends on how you look at it. If you look at it like the organization itself is not necessarily the chapter itself is not necessarily getting the funds, let's say the school, the funds are predicated on the university. And okay, on excellent. Yep. Allocation. yep. I think what you were talking about so also plays into threats is competition from other organizations. And not necessarily other legal fraternities or organizations, but anything you're involved in, you know, rugby, uh, yeah. knitting, any of that stuff. We try to make, you know, get that all plugged Saturday in. Saturday afternoon football games yes. in, in, at, at, uh, in college town. Stranger, three, uh, Stranger Things 3 um, <laughs> yeah. marathon. I didn't binge that all day July 4th. I totally binged that all day July 4th. Um, excellent. So does everybody get the general concept of a SWOT analysis? We figured the best way to really put the, the uh, rubber to the road or whatever the analogy is that I just totally messed up was we're going to give you some scenarios to practice. How's that sound? Okay. What I want you I to do... I got one thumbs up over yeah, there. Yeah. So that's... She speaks for the entire group. Lamb <laughs> chapter speaks for the entire group. Yeah. Um, so there was a little exercise I wanted to do in my communication uh, presentation that we just ran out of time because we were having awesome um, conversation. We want to break into small groups. And I want you to, as quickly as possible, using good communication skills, break into four groups. Dog owners, cat owners, other pet owners, and we don't have any pets. Break into those groups. No pets. 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 No Yep, yep, because you're going to be dying. We're going to kind of circle out. So, is this like one group here or is. So, so, if a couple of you want to go with that group, and can I get one of you guys to go back with that group just so we're more evenly matched? Oh. <laughs> And, and the bad news is you get a puppy in the in the deal. So. Yeah, <laughs> we're in the no pet section. <laughs> oh, your other pets. Okay. So why don't you go with them? Yeah. Yeah. That way we're somewhat evenly balanced. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we are going to give you a fact pattern. Okay. So. We're time traveling. It's, it's 12 months into the future. Everyone in this room, for the purposes of this exercise, is a licensed attorney in Virginia and the District of Columbia. Following the 2020 recession, sorry everyone, each of you found yourselves unemployed. 
either you were let go of your current job or you found yourselves unable to find a job uh, after graduating from law school. Um, you're considering in your group starting a law practice together in Northern Virginia. For the next 20 minutes, we want you to engage in the SWOT analysis. And then afterwards, we're gonna, we're gonna take turns discussing um, you know, what you found out during that process. So, so you, got, you guys are, are thinking about starting your own law practice together right here in, in Arlington, Virginia. What are your strengths going to be? What are your weaknesses going to be? What opportunities do you see for yourselves? And what threats do you see? Everybody get it? Okay, start discussing. We'll wander around and answer any questions you have. And then we're gonna to come together and discuss it at the end. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
I mean, and you know, there's a lot of it is it's like some of these things, right? You know, uh, the things that have been taken few others are not from there, so we don't know the culture. We don't know the environment. Something that might also be a diverse group of people based on diverse personality. Thank you. 
external. Yep. How about this group? What threats did you find? Not being able to find clients that can pay. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> okay, and I stink at spelling, so please don't judge me. <laughs> That's what autocorrect yes, is for. Yes. Excellent. Okay, so do we all agree that these are external? I think, yes. yeah, yeah, very well done. Yeah. Um, and they're threats, not not having money is a big is a big problem. Can you guys think of anything outside the money realm, like the cash flow realm? Please. Uh, it's a smaller firm, a new firm, would struggle with cybersecurity. Ooh, Ooh that's, that's a, a good one. great one. Okay. <laughs> he was he was holding back for the group presentation. Keeping this one in my pocket. <laughs> Please. So other other yep. firms, other, other more firms. established firms. Absolutely, great job. Okay, let's let's bounce over to the, to a fun one. Opportunity, staying in the external realm, please. Being in the DC metro area. Okay, so okay. location, location, location. Yep, that's huge. Mm -hmm. What about that specifically? You know, what 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 is it about? The, you know, being a, this part of the map of the U.S. I'm not going to hope you Hang on, Curtis. I want to hear. Well, we said the same thing. We said the wealth of the area and the fact that the United States Capitol is there. That, yeah. it could be Fairfax there. County, one of the one of the wealthiest counties in, in, uh, in the, the U.S. So, yeah, definitely so. And obviously, see the government, you know, right, right here. So there's there's a lot happening there. That's that's definitely external and and definitely, definitely an opportunity. Curtis. I was just going to say that they're all the administrative law that you have here, you don't have anywhere else. Uh, so you unique. 
you need practice areas? Yes. If you want to practice before the FCC, before the uh, Federal Energy Regulatory Commission, uh, before the, the U.S. Patent and Trademark Office, I mean, the, you, know, you don't have to be here, but it helps to be here. Good, good point. Okay, how about some weaknesses? So our internal concerns. Uh, being an outsider to the area. Not everybody looks favorably on outsiders. Yeah. What other weaknesses do we have? We put no client base, no money. We may not have a little Okay, so personality. <laughs> you know, yeah, no, no, that is. Personality. And, and, yeah. How many of you guys in here have gotten along famously with somebody until you don't? Like, that's a really, like, I, we. On the IEB, we love each other and then yes. we'll start yelling at each other and yes. we go back to loving each other. Yes. That's just how people operate. Yeah. So, But you do have to account for that and, and uh, that can definitely be a weakness. What else? Uh, cost of living. Ooh. Yes, very expensive. <laughs> getting, getting more so every day. Anything else? Yeah, exactly. We did lack of experience for like the newer lawyers. Like, okay. Just okay. recently licensed. Good point. Mm -hmm. Okay, now the one that everybody loves to do, the strengths. What strengths did you all come up with? We have a diverse practice area. That, that could be very, very helpful because, you know, when, when one practice is going well, another one might be in a dip. Mm -hmm. you know? um, we discussed how the difference of uh, levels of experience can actually be good. So we have more established attorneys and then we have very few attorneys. And so they bring different things to the table. It can also help with managing, you know, fees and, yeah. and, and the cost to the clients if, if you don't have senior partners doing all of the work. So off of what she said, we discussed how because we have different like experience levels that like the more experience can mentor the younger and less in our group, we have a lot of experience in administration, just so if you can get the hit the ground running with like someone who knows like how to manage, how to manage money, uh, how to like uh, make connections with like uh, banking institutions, like uh, marketing, all that, all that. How stuff. to buy insurance? Yeah. How to you yeah. know yeah. all, all, all that, that kind of stuff. Of I was uh, I was overhearing conversation about grants okay. from from that group. Yeah. Yeah. What was what was that about? Um, having somebody who can write grants would be very beneficial to the firm because it would allow us, with low capital, that would help subsidize what we're doing and help us focus more on specific areas that need to be met. Rachel. Um, one of the things out of the diversity practice areas, our group has actually a lot of expertise in diverse practice areas, so it's not just general practice attorneys. We've got IP-focused people and policy-focused people and uh, whole bunch of just focuses, which is so not just an interest, yeah. but an extra expertise in it. Beautiful. You've had your hand up for a while. We're part of the same law fraternity. Ha! -ha I love that. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Bonus <laughs> points. <laughs> to that point, we were talking about being in this area in particular with established pad network. Yep. That's Bonus <laughs> points. <laughs> Excellent. Please. State Department experience, so we understand the life cycle of paper and how that could apply in communication. Okay. Absolutely. How would you put that <laughs> succinctly? My words are failing me right now. <laughs> Governmental experience? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, another thing that was pretty beneficial to us is we're from a diverse like area of big places. So like some of us are from Colorado, some of us are from Illinois, New some of us are from yeah. New York, some of us. So we have connections in other places that can help our firm. Excellent. Okay, we are, I want to make sure that we wrap up in time for the next speaker. And what we wanted to do, um, first off, if I may take just a sure. brief moment, the conversation here was awesome. And I am so proud of you guys. I know that's like, this is really cool to see the interaction. And it goes beyond just learning how to do a SWOT analysis, listening to how everybody's communicating with each other. Bravo. I am yes. super impressed. So thank you guys. 
Um, I said it in my last uh, presentation that it's way more fun to do this when you guys are engaged and you guys are clearly engaged. So how would you apply this to chapter operations? Where do you see using SWOT analysis to make your chapter a better chapter? Please. Um, while we were going over the weaknesses and threats, um, I we kept pointing out, well, how can we counter those weaknesses? How do we fix those threats? Winner. So every time that came up, they always, the, the question was always like, okay, but how do we fix that? Or I see that, but how do we fix it? Excellent. So not just this is broken, this is broken, but how do we fix it? Yes. yes. Bring yes. a problem with the solution. Beautiful. Is there is there a counterpoint to that? Something something that 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 uh, uh, on on the strength side, you know that that anyone can think of. You know. Uh, on the strength side, one of the things is, is you realize just. You think you're the best at everything, and then you write out your strengths. And you're like, oh, look, I'm missing. I holes here, or I holes here. You actually see the full picture, and you realize maybe we need more expertise here, and this is how we can do it because yeah. we have strengths here. So it's something to build off of. I would also say that we don't have to reinvent the wheel, which is nice and bad. So you can talk to other chapters that you see doing things that you kind of want to be doing, and figure out how they've done it. So that's definitely a strength to have that to tap into. How would you apply SWOT analysis to an actual file for Delta event? How do you see this working with, give me an ex, uh, A judge's knife. There you go. What would you, would you, how would you apply that? I was gonna apply it to my square U of N theater event, but okay. No, okay. I mean, oh, that, that. Yes, no. <laughs> First off, that. you're talking to a yoga instructor, so you, you hit winner, as John would say. <laughs> <laughs> and you said, <laughs> one of our sisters that is very into it and loves beer and I said you should do this like if I can get this passed and then I actually ended up reaching out to Emily to see if this school wouldn't allow us to do it if I could still do it because square yoga and beer sounded awesome yeah. um, <laughs> the school actually did approve it so that worked out well we marketed it the best that we could on Facebook um, on um, through the Facebook calendar thing with Jiggy and our Facebook page and Glenn and on our um, rotating TV thing and it's a newsletter and then we had people RSVP so that we could make sure we had enough gear for everybody um, and then we provided food as well it was three of the students who participated and the event went really well I think what how SWAT would apply to that is after the event is over, we would just debrief and look at everything that we did. How can we make it better? How can we, you know, how can we improve what, if anything, went wrong this time? So one of the things that we, that I had planned for was we were going to do it outside because it was going to be super beautiful, and then Mother Nature decided she hated all of us she and cried a lot. Yep. Mm -hmm. So the grass was not an option for us. Mm -hmm. So. I got there early, I moved all the tables in a room, so we were already set up for our backup plan just in case Mother Nature decided to cry. So I think looking at an event and doing the debrief and look at, and using the SWOT analysis is a great way to improve in the future. Can you imagine doing the SWOT chart and then putting it in your chapter binder so the person who comes behind sure. you can, yeah. like, this is... This is succession planning and, and making things better and sharing it with other chapters. Um, so I think I have, I'm making yes. myself a mental note of a project yes. I want to start to collect these things. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. So while it's important on the back end, like you could also use it on the front end. Um, one of the things we talked about was making sure you have the people in the right positions. So going through, this is your strength. Look at all of our the strengths. So this is what you're going to do because this is how you line up for what we need for this project. Excellent. So after every CLE, you have to do a, a form that you're filling out to get your credit. And usually at the bottom, there's questions like, what could we have done better? Is this time slot work for you? So you can build it into it, actually, and get oh, like some feedback on the, like yes. in the moment. Yeah. Um, I just recommend that you keep it as CLE forms are really short, one right. page, half a page for a small yeah. event, so that people don't feel like I'm doing this. Um, but you can use SWAT in the moment. And you don't have to call it SWAT. I mean, yeah. you know, you can call it whatever you yeah, want. Simple. Yeah. So, excellent.
And I need a personal invite to the next rage Yo, yoga, please. Like, yeah. 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 Get me on that show because yeah. that sounds. You're, you're yeah. I know what I'm teaching. <laughs> <laughs> Mention this. Yes. <laughs> Make a note of that. I'm sure people will come for that yes. one. Yeah. <laughs> at 6 a.m. Yeah. At 6 a.m. Yeah. Pick me up on the way. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> How else? Any other way you can see this applying to chapter events? Any other ideas? You you guys have covered the bases, yes. but yes, please. Uh, every year you see most the law forum, so we bring in law schools from across the country. So last year we brought in 46 schools, and so we bring them to UCF, and we give them virtual availability, and we have escorts um, to bring the individuals to our actual group. And we also charge an admittance fee for those law schools to come, $50, so we can use that for fundraising for the budget itself. So, uh, but last year we didn't have them send the money in advance for all of them. So that ended up kind of being a problem because schools were trying to pay the $50 when they were coming. So with SWOT analysis, now we know for this next time when we have 75 schools that are hopefully going to be coming this year, they need to pay for it in advance and maybe increase it a little bit just so like fundraising will be a little bit easier for us. And it's also open to non fat members and we provide food and drinks. Perfect. The, this is a great tool for big picture strategic planning, for event planning, for personal development, for, for, for team building. Uh, this, this is something to, to just integrate into how you, how you do stuff. And we're, we're focusing on chapter operations because that's what a lot of you are here for, but this applies to your life. Like there's a reason we picked the law firm example is this isn't a file for Delta exclusive exercise. It can be very beneficial. And again, you don't have to do a big fancy chart every time, but run through your head. What are the internal and external threats I'm going to be facing? And what do I have to counter those threats and weaknesses? Think about um, it in terms of like applying for your next job. Absolutely. Okay, I want to make sure you guys have time for a break before our next presenter in five minutes. Um, any questions, comments? Here's our contact information. Yes. Please feel free to reach out to us regarding this or anything else we can help with. Um, and I think that's it. Do you that's have it. any final words? Thank you. Okay, thank you all very much. <laughs>